I'm Rosa Mendez, and I'm here at the number one Long Island broadcast, Monty Ferro. I have the best time ever. Hey, listen, Daddy. You're listening to the number one broadcast, Monty and Ferro, Daddy, in Long Island. The best pro wrestling broadcast of all time, I think. Jimmy, I got to tell you, man, it feels good to be back on YouTube. It was uh, quite disappointing what happened to us, but we bounced back pretty fairly quickly. Well, what, what else would we do? We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. Well, speaking of that, man, yeah. we need more members. Okay. What do you think we need to do to get the people of those 5,000 subscribers to come on and, and join the team as a Monty and a Faro member? Nudity is out of the question. Any other ideas? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. But what I, I do have a few ideas. Well, just like Prell, they should tell two friends, and they can tell two friends, and so on and so on. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Check out all our content. But that's, you know what? That's why you're, you're the star of the show, because guess what? Members get special content. Even we spoke about it. Farrell came to me one day, and he goes, man, what's the deal? I can't even watch some of these videos because I'm not a member. And I said, there you go, Farrell. You got to be a member because this is what the members get. They get free content that nice. none of the other fans that watch this show get. That's right. You get free autographs from some of these wonderful stars that come in, right? Nice. All you do is you go to the MNP webpage, or, right, our own page, yeah. and shoot us an email and say, hey, man, I want a picture of... Tommy Rich, I want a picture or whatever. And boy, that's on its way. We give them their choice. That's right. We rock. We do rock. And you need to rock, too. Join. Ooh, uh, sorry, bouncing all over the place. Uh, face reality, right? And so this week on Twitter, uh, on a, the, someone had put a tweet out, like something like about Wheel of Yuda, right? AEW's Wheel of Yeah, Yuda. right. All so right. some dude uh, at knees strike life um posted something on will yuda right? okay like, yo oh something to the fact that you know aw he, they were pushing him and they stopped pushing him and i'm pissed off you know the usual nerd got gotcha, you like comment. rave raving about you know, you know. Eh. so i don't know so kevin yeah. nash must have had a hair up his ass and the guy should have been happy that kevin nash even tweeted back hells yeah right <laughs> and kevin hells nash yeah. i think responded like don't worry no one's watching <laughs> right <laughs> so it sounds again, like kevin nash again That's in great. jest it's wrestling on, right it's funny right it's funny so this nash guy goes funny. out of his out of his way to say neither's your son see you next tuesday he nash says you know don't worry about it no, no one's, one's watching. watching and this guy responds neither is your son c word yes that's what this guy said yeah well there's a steaming pile of inept wrestling horse shit wow did nash i hope nash didn't even say anything after that right uh, this did guy, Nash they, say anything? The, guy, the guy took himself off. So. Oh, he did. So yeah. he ran away with his keyboard and buried himself in the backyard before Nash could do it for him. Very interesting. See, well, doesn't this just hammer home my point all the time that, you know, a keyboard, believe it or not, is a personal responsibility. You want to be you want to be like this. You you don't deserve a keyboard. You don't even. But, I'm not sure you deserve dinner. About the fact you should go to your room and stay is, there. This is fake wrestling. Well, this is insanity. And, okay, and Kevin Nash says a funny like. I thought are it was you, funny. Are you this? I think it's funny what he said. It, it's funny. It's fucking it's funny. It's funny. It is funny, and it's typical Kevin Nash clever. Uh, uh, and you're you're it's so funny. invested in Wheel of You got to take a shot at the guy's dead, dead son, dead, dead child. Dead child. So, what are you thinking, dude? Um, Get control of yourself. He's got no fucking brain. The guy's a complete loser. And the worst part is, 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 is that the taxpayers will probably someday have to pay for one of his dumb God, court, this, court cases. This wrestling guy's stuff. He's an idiot. This wrestling stuff sometimes. Did Nash respond? I'm ask, I asked again. I, the guy took his I hope his not. I the hope you didn't even bother with him. I guess, he, I guess there was nothing to respond to. He the guy took his sight down. Okay, that's the way it works. All right. Phil says that uh, both uh, Roger and Pete have hearing loss. John says he worked concessions. John, maybe we ran into each other. I was a sick guy under the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. The stadium was open, too. Was there a breeze? You were probably yeah, pissed was, about that. God! Cold. God! Stop that breeze! I got a job tomorrow to start. 
Other things that have gone too far. Yeah. Sunday, right? Uh, MJF threw some water on some kid. No, oh, here we go. In the uh, in the crowd. I know I had to cover this uh, stupid story. Go and ahead. it looked like some harmless fun, but right. the wrestling uh, with the wrestling world is in an uproar. Yeah, uproar. That you know, uh, just like the wrestling world was in an uproar a couple of weeks ago, we showed that video of the mother in front of her child telling Roman she was in love with him. How dare she? And Tramp. wanted to ha- and wanted to have some crazy sex with him. Yeah. And the wrestler. But now, yeah. he threw some water oh my God. on a kid. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. But even better, why don't you tell everybody what AEW uh, decided to do about it? So AEW, AEW decided to put out its code of contact, uh, conduct mm-hmm. for its fans. Okay. Okay? And here are the rules. Here are the rules. If you have a seat on the floor, you are at the risk of being struck by persons, objects, Barricades, <laughs> barricades and other items. Barricades, the cloth with the cheap metal. It's not like back when Ugh. we used to go, really. Why would Come I on. get hit by a barricade? Be anyway. aware of the action Ugh. as you are watching and move out of the way if someone or something is coming your way. By staying in the area, you assume all risks and injuries to yourself and your property. Now, let me I'm not I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. I'm dying to say it. But but I would hate to think that this stupid, like, if I don't move, it's my fault. No, I'm sorry. That's not going to hold up in court. This incident, this incident that happened with this kid who's allegedly not a plant, which I still doubt anyway, but let's not get into that. Whatever. Allegedly not a plant, and it was genuine, and he threw a These rules don't apply to that. Wow. Oh, yeah, here, comes, here comes MJF. Head for the third row. It's a, what are you talking about? I, there, there's no defense for what MJF did. This doesn't cover it. And guess what? If the kid's really upset and psychologically damaged, and that's what the attorney says so, you better cut a check, AEW, and tell MJF to stop flinging shit at people. That's what I think. That this doesn't My cover God, it. Are we as a nation this soft? I, I'm just, I'm addressing the softness. I'm not agreeing with it. Right. I'm telling you, that's just, exactly what again, could happen. But again, let me ask you something. That's exactly if, what could happen. If MJF. Yeah. All right, so perfect example. Yeah. We can, we're going to bring up some examples, and then we're going to get to our uh, special guest, yeah. Sal Corrente, uh, yeah. who wrote a wonderful book on the living legend, Bruno San Martino. Nice. Um, nice. The fan that was behind CM Punk when someone pushed CM Punk in the shoulder yeah. and CM Punk elbowed yes. him. CM uh, Punk approached the, the crowd. He went out there. He elbowed that guy. Right. To me, right. that guy has a case. Oh, right? He sure he does. Physically and he assaulted. elbowed the wrong guy, yeah, I right. think. I'm like, but he dude, was what are you doing? physically assaulted. Yes, he was. Okay. If you're in a yeah. crowd, okay, <laughs> the wrestler has no right at any time <laughs> to, to put their hands on you unless. Right. right. You You're... go past the barricade. Right. That's why it's there, everybody. Right. right. So that stupid warning is not alleviating AEW of any wrongdoing. None, whatso- it's a None stu- whatsoever. Who came up with that? Uh, Tony Khan. During a Coke By binge. the way, I got to throw the during a Coke binge. I got an idea. Very good. Write this. Very good. Take Very notes. Good. By the way, just in case you think that the apple rolls too far from the tree, did you hear about the Jacksonville Jaguars locker rooms and facilities? No. They have rats. Really? They're at the bottom they ring, did a ring survey. Rats. Ring they rats? did no rats. rats. They had a, They did a survey with each NFL team to check out how the facilities are. If you're being overworked, or you, if the practice is too long. So they, the, the, there's rats running rampant in, in, well, to be in Tony Khan's it pops. Jacksonville. It's wet, hot. Rats come around that. It's an of. NFL facility. There's rats running around. You're having rats for your breakfast. What's that? They're trying to eat. There's a rat. Listen, I take offense when you call Ruby Solo a rat, all right? I so didn't just call stop her it. a rat. Well, you say she runs around the, the arena. I, I didn't say Ruby. I said rats, real rats. Oh, real rats. Yeah, real rats. So not Ruby Solo. No, Tony Khan's pop is like running a very disgusting kitchen. That's a bad person. For his NFL players. All right, so... Before we get Awful. to our guests, I want to run across some things that yeah. have happened, and you tell me what you think. If the fan is at fault or the wrestler is at fault. Okay. Your thoughts, okay? Yeah, sure. All right. So during one of Chris Jericho's heel promos, he went to the crowd and stated 
uh, and started assaulting him. Apparently, some of the fans couldn't resist the joy of having Jericho so close to them, and they had to touch him. Well, Jer- well, for Jericho, it seems to be against the law for hypocrites to have to touch them, so he warned, warned the person not to do so. Okay. Guess what? The person did not listen. So Chris Jericho had to restate his previous statement again. It seems like the person listened after the second time. Let's be fair warning to any audience members, whenever Chris Jericho's in the arena, don't touch Jericho. Whose fault is that? The fan or Jericho? Jericho handled that very well. Wait, wait. The fan or Jericho? He went into the crowd. Right. The crowd but he asked touched him, not... him. Okay, Ow. but you know something, though? It is still your own personal space. Don't touch me. And he asked him nicely. So he crossed the barricade. He should have. He crossed the barricade. Okay, so what does this mean? They can drop his pants? Oh, wow, you're in our area. Yeah. No, he ain't. no, they can't. Come on, be realistic here. D- don't touch me. Dude, I got to be honest, okay? Good. Can you explain this to me since we're on this particular Good. subject? Good. What is with the need? Maybe you can explain it. For a regular, everyday fan watching the athlete or whatever, what is the need to have to touch them? Any- I was never one of them. I've never understood this. I have to touch them. Because people can't control themselves. What, what are we, laying hands? What the hell are we doing Listen, here? you're right. I, don't, I, I don't fuck. I got to be honest, okay? Understand. If I was, you know what? This actually did happen. I was performing, jumped off the fucking stage, stuff. Okay, fine. Don't fucking touch me. I'm so, performing right now. So when Missy Hyatt was here me. and we were taking photos with she her. She could touch me put, all she wants. And, but that's okay. Yeah, that's perfectly, that's Missy Hyatt. Oh, so you make rules. I have There's flexible rules. flexible rules. Oh, yes. So if you roll which way. Right. Well, you know, I knew you would. Let's, Every let's, time I'm you bring up Missy Hyatt, you know what the answer's going to be. The WWE came oh, to Cape Town, geez. South Africa in the wrestling machine, and there's a great one, uh, whatever. So Randy Orton gets attacked by a wrestling fan in the ring. Hits him in the nuts. Yeah. Who's at fault? Well, it's in not, the ring. it's not Randy. I'm just asking. I mean, that's obvious. What are you doing there in you the go. fucking because ring? Because the fan left the barricade right. and went in the ring. So right. you gave Jericho a pass for doing breaking okay. his rule. But well, the here's kid... the difference. Here's the difference. Yeah. Okay, well, you're not going to have twenty thousand wrestlers run into the audience. You can have twenty thousand people decide. I all want to go and touch Randy Orton. All right. Slight all right. difference, right? All right, how slight about... Slight difference? Du- slight difference. Okay. WWE bashes the beach, 1996, with oh, uh, great. Great. single most important events. Ah. Hall Nash gave their beatings. Um, you fans can stick it, brother. And oh, so uh, great. let's see, like just about every other fan that invaded WCW show uh, were taken out. Oh, I so remember, was, I remember that dude came into it. the yeah. ring and he got his, and got he got his ass kicked. Yeah, Whose fault told, is that? That's his fault. He's an idiot. He's a complete idiot. That was a great beating, too, by the way. That was, that was a great Scott Hall putting the boots right. to him. That was there were awesome. so many times that WCW wrestler were accosted by a fan before their crack security <laughs> team could get there. <laughs> well, what do you expect? Was that guy Seamus or whatever? Oh, yeah. Wait like, a minute. I remember the security the guy. There was guy, that, right? that one guy yeah. all the time. Yeah. That topic would be another list. But getting attacked from behind while cutting Sheamus. a promo <laughs> to get more than a little jarring. So remember the fan who attacked Raven when he was I, sitting against the ring? Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. That may be one of the most pissed off moments I could. You know I love Raven, right? right? I was so pissed off, man. I wanted Raven to get to him. All I right. wanted Raven to get to him and, and beat the living. So fan fault. What are you doing? Broke the barrier. I choke you out right. by the by the steel post. All right. How about the time where Terry Gordy pushes the fan? Check out the video. Oh wow! Check this out. Yeah, he was talking a lot of shit. I still hey, 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 he's past the barricade. There was no he's barricade. Yeah, it is. No, there's a, there's, a, there's a metal thing right there when you look again. It's looking at that, he's the, and that's the barricade. That's the line. He overstepped it. Terry knew it. And down you go. <laughs> By the way, Beautiful. I always to this Beautiful. day thought that was nope. a rigged thing. Oh, it could be. It could Back be. Back in the day. Yeah, it probably could be. So, fan Terry totally in front of the rope. Terry's, Terry's in the right. Him. Terry's in the right. And don't touch him. Because he passed he, the rope. And don't touch him if he goes past the barrier. What's your need to touch somebody? What's wrong with you, weirdo? Yeah, unless it's Missy Hyatt. <laughs> unless it's Missy Hyatt. I'd like, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, anyway. Miss-